This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So I'm going to show you guys a super cool monster toy that is very sentimental to me. I have shown this piece off in other videos like videos of a bunch of my alien collection but I don't think I ever did an episode just devoted to him. This is my original Kenner alien from 1979 and this piece is super sentimental. Um, this piece was from Christmas of 1979, my favorite Christmas of all time. <laughs> um, I received both this guy and Rom the Space Knight on that Christmas, and I still own both of them. My alien is in really good shape. Let's show off his mouth. I am missing that center spine. I know that they sell replacement pieces. I have a replacement piece, but it's made out of resin and I, I decided not to put it on because it's, it's too hard of a material and it would require me to glue it in place. And I didn't want to do that to the toy. Um, I know they make replacement pieces out of like soft vinyl and I'll, I'll probably end up getting one of those. But this is the one that started it all as far as my alien collection go. And this piece is a thing of beauty. Uh, they got so much right with this toy. They did the hands right, right down to the fact that he's got two thumbs on each hand, a thumb at either end. Um, let's see, what else can I show you guys? There's no real detail on the, uh, like these were the jaw bones of like a, a ram or a sheep, and they didn't sculpt the teeth on those. The NECA ones did, but I mean, this was considered for little kids, and it, it's got way more detail than any uh, little kid toy um, version. But some things, you know, aren't super accurate. Like, yeah, like the teeth right there, and but then they've got some crazy detail like here on the arms. So it's a very detailed, beautiful piece. I would never part with this piece. Um, number one, because it's awesome to have as an alien collector and two, it's sentimental as hell. Um, so this is his original dome. Um, I believe the dome originally had like little tabs on the ends of it, which helped it stay clipped on. And those are, are gone. Um, uh, 
I did get a replacement dome from this dude that I saw on Instagram. Um, and see, it has the little tabs. Uh, but it's a little bit dark. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It looks cool though. And let's see. And those little tabs, they really keep it in. Yeah, they hold it in place. There are scenes in the movie when his head looks that dark. Um, it's funny because sometimes you'll see toys depicting a super clear dome and you can see right through and see the skull. And then there's other times in the movie when it's a dark, dark, smoky look. Um, I, I think it just depended on the placement of the uh, studio lights, really. Um, but I, I do feel this one is just a little bit too dark. Um, that NECA 40th anniversary figure has it perfect, where it's a, it's sort of this smoky color, and it's it's a lot of black up front, so you can't really make out the skull eye sockets unless the lights are like shining really bright on them. Um, The first SH uh, Monster Arts or SH Figure Arts, the alien that they made, it was it looked like this. Like the the dome was so clear you could see right through to the uh, to the skull, and that's not that's not really movie accurate. I don't think there's any shot in the film where it looks that clear. But that's my original dome. So yeah, if the, if the dome was this smoky color, but then with kind of this blacker color up front, that would be perfect. But I keep my original dome on there just because it's the original. If I ever track down another one, which I've never really felt the need for because I still own my original uh, toy, but if I ever get that itch to purchase another one, I will um, display it with this blacker dome on it. Have the best of both worlds. Um, yeah, Christmas 1979, that was my favorite Christmas ever. There are several Christmases that I really, really remember very vividly from my childhood, and this was definitely one of them. Can't believe what a gorgeous monster toy this is. If you are a collector of monster toys, like I am, this is one that you need. If you're a collector of 1970s toys, this is one that you need. Um, this is a holy grail for a lot of people in their collections, and I understand why. And if it wasn't in my collection, I would definitely track one down and put it in the collection. Um, but yeah, like I said, other than the that center spine, um, I am super happy with him. I mean, that's the only thing I would, I guess, change or fix would be if I could get a hold of a, a replacement center spine. But even without it, it's still super cool. And it's uh, one of my favorite pieces in my collection. So do you guys own this figure? Have you ever owned this figure? Is this one of your holy grails? Are you still trying to track it down? Thor, is it one of your holy grails? No, I know it's not. Um, but yeah, I love it. 
All right, my friends, I'll be back with some more cool monsters very, very soon. Um, that is a quick look at my original Kenner Alien from 1979. And I'm glad I made this video because it gave me a reason to pull him out of the box and <laughs> play with him. Yeah, if you were a little monster kid in 1979, man, it, um, there was only a few pieces of merchandise from the film. There was this, there was the MPC model kit, um, there was an alien jigsaw puzzle, and then there was an alien target shooting game where I believe you shot little uh, suction cup darts at a <laughs> at a target of the alien and that was about it as far as alien stuff was concerned and I owned all of it I still own the MPC model kit which I have done a video of and I still own my 1979 Kenner alien obviously I no longer have the jigsaw puzzle, and I never did own the um, target shooting game. But never say never. <laughs> All right, my friends, hang in there. I'll be back very soon. Happy Halloween.